If we take away excuses, what are we left with? My, my own philosophy is just do it. The land of a thousand excuses. Who can guess the nation where you'll find people with the most excuses for not doing the right thing at the right time? Don't bother, let me tell you. It's my country, Nigeria. And let me start by making a confession. I'm equally guilty and I have made excuses. In fact, I think I have a red nylon bag full of excuses, ready to go. Um, you know, so you ask Emeka, um, why is your script for the advocate not ready? Uh, my usual thing to Ekene is like, I'm sorry Ekene, my cat was ill. <laughs> my dentist broke my tooth. Um, and I have more of where that came from. I mean, but the reality is today, every one of us, you call a mechanic, a contractor who's doing your house, you name it. Why is the job not ready? And voila, plenty of excuses will pop out, like gummy bears. And we love to chew those gummy bears. We eat them up. I can't think of any other country where the answer to the question, can you fix this? Can you deliver on time? Would be God willing. As if I gave the task to God. AJK, where's my car? Madam, now my uncle was sick for village. Now he make a no quick finish the job. I mean, we've gotten so comfortable with our mediocrity and our lack of rigor or professionalism that it permeates all levels of our system. Now, don't let me get started about government. <laughs> it would be near impossible to get a firm deadline when a project, a contract, a will be finished and how much it will cost. You start hearing it's 37 billion, next thing is 50 billion, next thing it's 2017 to 2020. We, there's no time. And you know, the reality is like our political leaders now pass the buck to God even. You know, God will find a way. God will give us the next governor. The state is in the hands of God. Um, the culvert will be built by God, God willing. I mean, we didn't elect God. I can't think of any other country where the answer to the question about a worksman's duty is a contest between man and God. Which brings me to the next issue. How we think our country is exceptional, and not even in a great way. We're comfortable telling one another how things can't work in Nigeria. You bring up a good idea, often the first thing you hear is, oh, America, such a brilliant idea. But you know, this is Nigeria, it no go work. <laughs> so now we've developed a language for incompetence and excuses. You hear it often, make I try. If you can do it, you do it, and I don't know about trying. <laughs> I gotta arrange them somehow. So we build up a whole lingua, a whole narrative about mediocrity that we're trying to excuse it. You hear, for example, the event should start between eight and nine a.m. What is that? If it starts at eight, it should start at eight, not, you know, I'll be there eight to nine. Um, so imagine that. So we've, we've need to become adept and comfortable finding ways to cut corners for quick fixes, for options rather than processes and lasting solutions. My take is this has to change if we must move forward. You know, I believe the key to our attitude to change from mediocrity is that we have to become uncomfortable with these excuses. We need to demand firm answers. And I've made a pledge to a kind of here that <laughs> I have two scripts already ready. So the, for, for, the, for the next episode, I'm ready. I'm ready for you, you know. Um, we need to also demand firm answers. We need to engage more and, and not be comfortable with woolly excuses, woolly explanations and excuses. So guys, that's it. So I'm, I'm, I've no, turned a new leaf for this good new year. Don't worry, the taste of the pudding. Whereas, wanting to cast aspersion on any Trade, but with with artisans, it's terrible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, deliver this. Like I've dealt with exactly what yeah. you talked about in the last two days. When are you delivering the goods? They call you at nine, madam. I'm on my way. We are on our way. Where is your oh, location? Oh, 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 yeah. You send the location. You're ready. You're just waiting for the call. Two hours later, three hours later, you call and say, "Ah, oh, we have gone to the factory." Factory? I thought you had it in stock. Oh, and then they come, since 9, they come at 5 p.m. I don't get it. You make, you know... So they tie you up. They, so yeah. they tie you up. Mm -hmm. And it's more, more um, honorable to just say, you know what, madam, I, I can't make, I'm calling you this early so you can plan your day. Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. You know, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll get it out today, and then I'll come tomorrow. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Everybody's I know there's a cost, there's an economic cost to it. There is. And uh, my worry is that we've built up this whole, so, there's a socio-economic cost to it. So we've planned events, which is the worry thing. So you stay, to say an event will start at 8 a.m. People strolling at any time. No, people call at 8.30. Are people there? Uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I think uh, I, 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 it's actually worse in Freetown. Somebody, yeah. I was oh, reading lovely. somebody's write-up in Freetown. Apparently, uh, you know, the... the we're even we're just doing the African we're just time doing, we're just starting compared to Freetown. I, I saw this really? person says yes, wow. he gave some illustrations, but that's not to make us feel better. But I, I'm one person that 
they can call me the, do you say, the brigadier. I, I, I like to make people feel uncomfortable when they start. Not yeah, that I like sure it. sure do. Not that I like to. <laughs> but I, no, let me not say I like to. No, I don't like to, but I've learned how to do it because I dislike, yeah. I dislike things that are not clear. You know, because that's not how I live my life. I put the same stress I put on you on myself first because I don't like, I, I respect a lot of people when they can give me definite. So this kind of person that will say, I, just I can't do it, I can't do it. I, I, that, my respect goes up through it's the roof for you. But when I notice you dissing me like yes. that, then I start, I start watching for how to narrow your space of wriggle. So in the end, what you're left with is that you don't deal with me or you deal with me on my yeah. terms because I can't deal with the, that yeah, kind that's of prevarication. So, yeah. and yeah. so, and so, if I noticed, yeah. for example, I said to one of my colleagues recently, because he made a statement and said, I'm ready, only for me to come down and find he wasn't ready. I said, next time you say ready, I'll give it five more minutes. And he laughed. I said, I'm very serious because I've noticed your, your ready is not your ready. And I can't play that game with you. Oh, no, you know? ready, so, not your ready is even better. Mm. You make um, arrangement with somebody last night to come in at 8 a.m. today. You call at 8.15 to say, are you any, by any chance close by? He says, oh, Nobody sent her any number to him. Actually, right now is her song go. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I? Oh, what? classic. No, but I don't think it's artisans. I think it's, you'll be surprised. Everybody, the kind of everybody. elite people it who do across. this, you'll it be surprised. I, I, think, I think there's, there's really no, no, um, there's no prize. You don't put any prize. If there's a cost to it. For instance, if I have an appointment with you and you don't show by eight o'clock, I move. I, oh, you, you don't understand? Even call. I don't. I, once you're not there, I move. Yeah. Then we'll begin to, yeah. you know. Yeah. 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 So don't. Do, regardless of what it is, if we begin to demand for no. service, it's the same with our and government. Then for you re rendering service, yeah. Yeah. you understand. Yeah. You yeah. rendering yeah. service, yeah. value proposition is very important. You understand, and you know that you have. It's about the customer. Said it was body. You understand. So you then forced them. They said it was them. on Allen. Sorry. That's boarding a flight to come into Lagos. So we said, okay, you are, you are, you are boarding right now. Yes, we're boarding. Oh, God, why should I have come <laughs> yesterday? Then it became hours later. Where are you now? Oh, I'm on Allen. We're coming. That's to meet us in Victoria Island. And he never showed up. And wow. Yeah. What? I, I think that. Never. I, wow. I just, you know, you, you go to Switzerland. So they say a train will, will arrive at 3.06. Then they can be that. And by Precise. three or six, the thing, the thing is there like perhaps, magic. Perhaps you start saying, how do they, this thing will live at 3.15? You, you know, I think there's a link. I want to draw the connection between our fear of holding our government accountable and our and own I behavior. think so, yeah. Because we don't yeah. hold ourselves accountable. I right. noticed that Nigerians, and I'm, I'm being, this is as frank as I can be, mm -hmm. we love that wriggle room. We love that gray area. Mm -hmm. If you meet people who start telling you, this is it, this is that, you immediately get this cold feel like, oh, right, right. why are you doing like, like what you both? Why are you doing like what yeah. you both? You know, they don't like it. They don't like systems. They like, oh, let's just maneuver. So let's, just, let's just switch yeah. up. Yes. And, and I keep trying to close it down because I say, this is inefficient to operate like this. Let's do things without fear or favor. Let's do things without regarding people. Let's have systems in place that make it a default. I, I talked about this when right you ask someone. So, um, you know, let me use myself. I'm like, how many kids do you have? About three. <laughs> About. I mean, what, I mean, what, what do you mean? Because yeah, you ask some people, like, how many, you know, there are, but you know, and in Africa, Africa, Africa know. man, African <laughs> man cannot say you, you can't, can't tell you exactly the number. How many? These are the ones I know about. Oh, gosh, I how do you get to the point where, wow. where you cannot pin tell, down your own you can't pin down your own, I, you know, I, look. We like the room to maneuver. <laughs> and you yes. know, we're, no, all, we're yeah. all guilty of this. No, that's, we, that's we really, And you know, they say, they say, say when you're, say, when oh, you're, sorry when you're in the, you're less when you're, is it, how do you say, when you're in the I, picture or when you're in the frame, you don't see the picture, right? Mm. Yeah, right. It's easy. Typically, Nigerians would, you know, would give you analysis, tell you all the things that are wrong, but they'll never, you know, put the searchlight on themselves. themselves. When you have appointments, you keep to your appointments, you pay your taxes, you all your civic responsibilities, you do them. You understand? These are the things that you'll demand. Then they should the demand, they should the demand for service. You, you pay for a flight. This flight is supposed to leave at 1.30 uh -huh. p.m. It doesn't leave until 6.30 yeah. p.m. Am I raising my voice? No, please raise your voice. <laughs> please, I, I think what we need to do is live more accountable lives yeah. so that we can now be emboldened to hold our government accountable. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Look, um, for me, really, I think, uh, I, you know, as my advocate says, I think it's, a time, it's time, especially in this new year, for us to be l more uncomfortable with, with people not keeping to promises and, and deadlines and not being true to time. Um, because good habits are formed by deliberate, persistent effort. So although this is just the beginning, it's a good beginning, I think. So I have pledged 
to my producer, <laughs> Kenna here, that I'll, I'll keep the momentum going. Yes. And you keep your comments coming in on our social media platforms. <laughs> on Facebook at Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. And to catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash the advocate. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Till next week, when we'll be engaging you once again with season topics, and let's keep this one honest. Till next time, and we keep advocating for a better society. Bye, and uh, Happy New Year, guys. Yes, yeah. so Happy New Year <laughs> again. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this is that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy was it's very, a terrible, very, strategy. very terrible <laughs> strategy. Because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news.